This is George from Tech Legion. Today we're going to be taking a uh, look at a new piece from Evercool, the Silent Shark Dual Tower CPU Cooler. Uh, the Silent Shark is named so because of the Silent Shark fan, which is on the front of the cooler, uh, which also is um, able to be tilted to get more air to your VRM and existing components. As you can see, the Silent Shark comes in a rather large box, rather large cooler, nice clear depiction on the front. Around the back, you do have a window. When the shark is in, you can actually see it. Going around the side, you do get a look at some of the specs and some of the features. Um, six heat pipe design, six six millimeter heat pipes, uh, cooling up 250 watts, dual tower design, uh, copper cooling block, and also copper heat pipes. And moving down, get a look at some of the um, specifications. Keep in mind, this is a very large cooler, stands 165 millimeters, but really uh, the big thing is the footprint, 166 mil, uh, millimeters front to rear. So it is a very large cooler, and it is going to weigh in quite a bit uh, at 1180 grams. Uh, it uses two different fans, the Silent Shark fan, which is a fixed RPM fan at 1400 RPM. Also uses a Silent fan, which is PWM 800 to 2200 RPM. Um, the Silent Shark coming in at 26 dB, while the Silent fan comes in at only 16 dB. The Silent fan is capable of 66 CFM, while the Silent Shark up in the front is capable of 60 CFM. So take a look at the cooler itself. The Silent Shark is a very interesting design, as you see. Uh, the two towers are tilted, the front tower tilted forward with one tw uh, 120 millimeter fan between and the Silent Shark fan on the front. Uh, as you can see, it is held on with a hinge. Now, the Silent Shark fan itself is called as such. It's a vortex type fan with uh, grooved blades. You can see three grooves on the blade cut in and three small grooves on the inner. Uh, indentations. This is going to add to the vortex effect while keeping the noise down. Now interestingly, the front fan has a pin which can be unscrewed, taken out, it's locking it into place. The fan can then be tilted and locked into place so that it is blowing down rather than through the uh, cooler itself. This is going to get airflow going around your VRM, make for a little bit better overclocking uh, in the VRM department. Of course, you will lose a little airflow through the cooler doing that, but you're going to be able to cool the surrounding components a bit better. The center fan, of course, is completely fixed. And put that back into place. Got a nice plastic housing up top with the Silent Shark logo right on the top with a grooved cutout design. Uh, so it's going to be really nice looking in the case. Uh, got a good look to it. Very nice top plate. Um, obviously going to be very unusual with this front fan, uh, the way it's hinged. So you're going to have a little bit of an unusual look there. Taking a look at the towers themselves. Aluminum fin array, as you can see. Sealed on the sides. Going to keep the air, a little bit more air going over the heat pipes, keep it a little bit better directed. You've got the six six millimeter heat pipes, copper base, which has a nice polish on it, as you can see. A little bit uh, of milling, but very, very smooth finish. Um, the retention bracket already comes on. Now, uh, oddly enough, the Silent Shark fan is a three pin while the Silent Fan is a 4-pin PWM. The Silent Shark Fan, as I say, runs at a fixed 1400 while you have PWM on the Silent Fan in the center. Taking a look at the included components and installation kit, of course we're going to start with the manual. Uh, one thing I will say, there are some rough translations on the box, uh, which is fine on the box when you're talking about features. However, it does extend over into the installation manual. Um, the written part, it, like I say, the translation is a little bit rough and it's also very, very basic, the written part. You're going to have to follow along with the pictures as it's not clearly stated exactly the installation procedures. Um, some of the washers, for example, uh, on the installation are entirely never mentioned, but they are pictured. So you're going to have to follow along with the pictures very closely on the installation. Thankfully, though, the installation kit is very simple. Um, all-in-one back plate, mounting brackets for Intel, mounting brackets for AMD, as well as your nuts and bolts, 
a 4-pin to 3-pin uh, adapter cable uh, in case you have only a 3-pin connector on your motherboard not a 4-pin for the PWM fan and finally a small tube of thermal interface material. Summing up, the Evercool Silent Shark uh, very large dual tower design, nice fin array, nice aluminum fin array, silent fan in the center, silent shark fan up front, vortex fan, tiltable to get more airflow onto your uh, components around the CPU if you so desire. Say tilted front tower, six six millimeter heat pipes, pure copper contact block, nice polished finish, PWM on the silent fan in the center, and 1400 fixed RPM on the silent fan itself.